This time on Woody's Garage, we have a 12-foot green weenie. Well, look what we got today. It is a Walden Vision 12 and a half foot kayak. Craigslist freebie. Looks pretty good, huh? I mean, it looks like the trim's off of it. No big deal there, but now I'll show you the bad part. Smash. Big crack. But, let's bring you a better look at it. Gotta find out what kind of plastic this is. And you know, I bet something like fiberglass would hold up for a while. Actually, I got a 10 foot uh, loon made out of PVC, is it plastic? I don't know, very, very durable. I'll show it to you. There it is, that's a 10 footer. And uh, it's heavier than that one I just brought home. It's really heavy. Um, and here's a weird one I got. <laughs> I call this Captain Nemo. It looks like the first plastic kayak ever made. Isn't that thing weird? Everybody laughs at me when I go out in it. I'm taking it out in the ocean too. It's, it doesn't paddle very good, but it's it's funky. And look at the bottom. You know, I don't think they knew what to do when they started making these things. But um, the thing I like about this Walden is I go out in the ocean besides the pond here, and a longer kayak is better in the ocean because of the swells and stuff. And it's lighter in one place that I go, I have to carry it like about 60 yards and it gets heavy quick, especially with a little bit of gear in it. Um, so, it might work out great. Like I said, I gotta find out what the plastic is. You know, I could always plastic weld it together or whatever, but I think it was a nice score. Looking inside, it's real basic. What these things are. I don't know if somebody threw it in for extra flotation or if they they were supposed to be installed or something. Another piece here. This looks like it was for a center board. I say it was glued to something. Share leaves. Oh, a nice echo in here too. Hello. But uh, you know, otherwise I don't know what would float it if it got swamped. So I got to look into that too. You know, maybe there was foam underneath the top. Don't know. Don't know if I can pull this whole thing out too. <clears throat> Looks like some screws and probably make for a better, easier repair. You know. Here's another look at the damage. Looks like they were trying to repair it with something. It obviously didn't work. But all the parts are there. There's nothing that you need to fabricate or anything. So. Okay, so what I found out is that this is made of HDPE plastic. These boats are made actually from uh, recycled materials, which is kind of cool. Uh, but what HDPE is, is this kind of plastic. They make these things out of. Um, you know, a top of this would be like a perfect thing to use as material. Or I think milk bottles are also made of that kind of plastic. So the only thing I'd need is really a good soldering iron head, something a little more, you know, sort of a point. It's like an iron. Maybe I could make something like that and uh, seam it back together. Another method I've seen is they put like a uh, like a window screen mesh over it, and they melt that into it first, so it holds it together, and they put. Uh, pieces of plastic and melt that on top and then it can be sanded out and stuff like that to look good. One thing that I see is missing is 
uh, foot pegs for your feet. You can always make something up, I'm sure. Yeah, we hosed it down. Sometimes it gets a little dirtier than it was before. We get up inside so all the water can run out the crack. There's more filth underneath that plastic, but that doesn't look like it's easily removed. Might be. Kind of looks like you could put a dowel straight across for the foot pegs. Since my legs are kind of long, uh, I'll probably be out to the furthest setting. That would probably do it. Seems like the trim is only held on by these kind of one-way plastic jobs. You push them in and they're barbed so they can't come out. And it catches. No, it goes all the way through here. And I ordered actually a big batch of these from Japan. It's like, you know, 240 pieces, five, five cents. But, you know, I ordered that about, what, about two months ago. <laughs> Still has not arrived. It's hardly a bargain when it takes this long to get here, if it ever gets here. But uh, that's the kind of thing I need there. Another place I noticed is like, you know, where you're dragging them out of the water. That could use a little reinforcement too, a little more plastic. So I couldn't seem to find a soldering iron tip that was made to melt plastic. Well, they have them, but you got to buy the soldering iron, the whole kit, because it's probably not worth just selling this. So I have about, you know, five or six soldering irons. This is definitely a cheapo here. And I loosened up the two screws, pull out the end. You tell me what that looks like right there. <laughs> that looks like a damn nail. So if I can find another nail like this with a head, maybe I can uh, flatten the head like a little bit so that I can use that as a spade and uh, I'll have my tool. So let me see what I got for nails. Do you see anything? Yeah, I think I found the nail. I found this guy in the can of nails. I don't know where the hell he came from. This nail is just a, like a little bit thick, so I'm gonna uh, cut it off, I think, right about here. I wanna use the head. Cut it off right about here, and then see if I can uh, take this a little bit down on the sander or something. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna bring it down on. Or maybe the um, yeah, maybe the grinding wheel before I cut it, huh? That might be a good idea. Uh, cheap calipers say that's about right. So we're going to cut it off right about where the shiny part is. And actually, let's uh, mangle this head first. So that should do it. You know, I was going to bash over the head a little more, but you know, I mean, that might be good, just the way it is. Another couple of army men too. I think I know where they came from. This poor guy lost his legs. But um, the people that used to own this house, I've been in this house for 30 years. Uh, they had this kid who like picked up stuff and just threw it into the pond. And when I first moved here, I pulled out so much junk that it was like, you know, knee deep in the water including a bowling ball amongst other toys and rakes and bats and uh, hockey sticks and toys and like so much crap was in the pond but anyway that's where that came from so now i'm going to cut this off here and uh, i think this might be good All right, let's see if it fits. Yep, <clears throat> screw it in. I think I would like a little more of an angle on it. Yeah, so that's kind of it. You know, it's crazy. I was going to experiment with that HDPE plastic, the milk bottles. I was like washing them out and cutting them up into little pieces so that you could um, cook them in like a toaster oven. I have a toaster oven that I just use for the shop here. 
and uh, you melt it out and you can make it into like a brick and then make you know anything you want out of it it's sandable etc i was gonna make surfboard fins out of them but it was like kicking around for the longest time and i just threw it away about two weeks ago you know now that i could use it well it's always more milk right so i'm not going to do anything else today i gotta think about it but now it's going right along the seam there Covered in nice. Another thing they sell in those kits is stainless steel screen. Now I'm, you know, I'm not worried about regular screen rusting, but I'm wondering if it'll hold up as well. You know, because the screen would help. I'd love to do this from the inside too. I don't know if it's going to be possible. I can get that black thing out or whatever, or turn into a one-foot midget so I can walk in there. Yeah, that black plastic is right in the way. You know, how does this thing come out? These screws that I saw, I think only hold this, which is so flimsy. I think it's kind of glued in. Yeah, it is, so I'm gonna have to do it from the outside. Yeah, it says right here, this product is made with recycled plastics. It's in Concord, Massachusetts, too. What do you know? Near, that's uh, where Walden Pond is, too. That's why it's called a Walden, I guess. Okay, it's the next day. I looked at some uh, plastic welding videos. And one thing I kind of need is a mesh. What they sell in the kits is a stainless steel screen that you can put over this and melt it into the plastic. And Harbor Freight has this little kit. It has about three pieces of the stuff for $17 or something like that. And, you know, I don't need the soldering iron because I have that one. And it just seems so stupid to spend $17 on a couple of pieces of mesh. So, I mean, another thing you can do is cut little pieces of wire and put them across like stitches but I got a lot to do so I think what I'm going to do today at least is take the drill and drill holes at the end so that it'll stop cracking and then I may look around still for some mesh I have some aluminum screen mesh for uh, you know screens but they say that that isn't nearly strong enough so I'm going to drill those holes anyway, keep it from cracking anymore. There's one more on the top. Definitely looks like someone made some kind of attempt, wherever this crap is. But uh, it's me all antsy to sit here and not be able to do anything about this, you know. I have some uh, like chicken wire, but that's too like thick. I don't want to make a mess of it. So I got to think about this a little. <laughs> 